Welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Our uh, guests are back with us this week that we had on. Oh, you you do not want to miss it, Dr. Jeffers. And are you a doctor too? Considered. Can Considered. Consider? Okay. Doctor and doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you're going to meet them in a minute. But please call those prayer lines at the bottom of the screen. 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. I just cannot tell you enough what God is doing on those prayer lines, from little eight-year-olds calling to mm -hmm. grandmas, people being healed. I mean, Lana was in Colorado one day, somebody came up oh and God. said, the day, one day you prayed on the uh, program, and I haven't been in the wheelchair since. Wow. See, wow. We, we're hearing all kinds of testimonies. The lame are walking, the blind is seen. People have, are hearing. I mean, we've had just a miraculous things happening. God's no respecter of persons. He wants to do it for you too. So call those prayer lines. Don't go through things alone. Many of you may be broken. You may have had such great loss. Maybe a child died. Maybe you're th going through divorce. Whatever that may be. Maybe a fire burnt down your house. Call, let us stand with you and have faith with you and see your breakthrough. Don't go through it alone. And with that said, many of you I know clicking through the channels and all of a sudden you go, whoa, what's that? Stay there. You will not be sorry. We have special guests with us that you see right over here to my left that we will introduce in a minute. But for you new viewers, I'm Charlene back to Marine, one of your God's View hosts. Jennifer Griffin, Lana Gardner, and we just say welcome. The girls are, and I are so thrilled and honored to be coming in to your home through the airwaves for the gospel of Jesus Christ. And with that, oh, we're so glad you guys yes. are back, <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Jeffers and Prophetess. We are Thank so you. glad. Thank yes. Thanks for joining us again. That first show was powerful. Oh, that was awesome. awesome. You know, it's wow. going to help a lot of people. And for you that are just joining us, I'm sure they'll recap, but they're really leaders, two leaders, and they're called to minister to pastors, and they go all over and minister. So go to their um, information across the bottom of the screen and give them a buzz. I mean, after you've heard what they said, I mean, they would be very, very helpful to come in and help your congregation or you as a leader. So mm -hmm. with that said, mm -hmm. just let it roll. Yeah. Why, do, why do Christians... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Lana, she writes our <laughs> have, have nothing to fear. Because you, you were saying in the last show, Christians don't have anything to fear. Why? Oh, yeah, because we left off with that, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, in honesty, when you, once again, um, the reason why they fear is because they don't know who they are. Mm. and many times are not close enough to the Lord, have not developed the relationship with the Lord enough to know who He is, and so that if you don't know who He is, you don't understand who you are. Mm. And so therefore you swallow anything that the enemy brings at you. And of course, yeah. the hurts yeah. and the wounds, the offenses, um, and some things even dating back to childhood in many right. people, Huge. these things mm. open up, of course, doors and wounds. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes down to it, with you get all, you develop all these fears mm. uh, that the enemy brings to you, and many people don't really see it as fears. They'll even say, well, I'm timid um, or, you know, shy. I'm, I'm just yeah. shy. Mm -hmm. And they think I'm just that right. way. You know, oh. people in my family, just, it's just the way oh, we are. And they don't understand that's fear. Yes. Mm. You know, even low self-esteem, it's a form of pride. But also there's a fear there. Why? Because you don't feel like you measure up to people or you don't fit in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the enemy does all these kind of things to us. Why? Because many times these attacks come early in life to keep you from knowing who you are and really to destroy you and to begin to kill what God has purpose for you to do. Mm -hmm. And if he can mess you up long before you discover who you are, then he ends up detouring you from your divine purpose in so God. So that's why children with all the nightmares, yes. Yes. all that kind of stuff, it just yes. starts right there yes. early and then early. Well, don't you think that the enemy attacks to when you're young? where the very area you're saying that the very area that you're called to probably to shut you down in that area exactly. with fear with exactly. fear of of whatever it is that you have and so I'm 
Well, for some, it's actually totally even more devastating. Like me, um, I'll just share this a little bit. Um, my the Lord, the, the Lord had a call on my life. I guess years and years and years, but I didn't realize it. Mm -hmm. And at the age of three, mm -hmm. I was raped, and mm -hmm. I had a disease. Mm -hmm. And then the Lord oh, saved Jesus. me and gave me the Holy Ghost at nine years old. But that was because I was going to kill. It was my father. He was a military man, special forces, and, but he drank. Mm. And so the drinking gave him, he had demons. Yes. Multiplicity of them. Jeez. And he beat my mother regularly. So oh. this is what I grew up in. Mm -hmm. And then even after getting the Holy Ghost mm. at nine, thinking everything was going to change, yes. my mother got in church, my father did not. Well, things didn't change. Mm -hmm. I continued to be raped, though I was baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. Did your mother know? Well, my, for yeah. even when she found out, you know, she couldn't handle that. Aww. So, and, and I never was able to tell her the fullness. I've never really talked fully about it with anyone because most people couldn't handle it. Mm. So, but even the fact of knowing and walking through that, I often wondered, God, why did I have to go through that? because it, it actually tried to destroy so many places yeah. in me. I had so fear, crazy. I had no friends, I didn't fit in with anyone. Growing up, I was a loner right. mm. and never wanted to be in the forefront. And I told the Lord when I got to be about 15 or 16, <laughs> don't ever call me to the ministry. Don't wow. ever, because mm -hmm. I felt I was damaged goods and that he would mm. never want to use me. Mm. Mm. But you were ministered to a lot by older women, weren't you? Did they hear that? Well, no, because oh. in the beginning, many of them didn't even know where I was. You know, the gifts weren't in full operation. Um, and that's why at 17, Dr. Jeffers and I, we met at 17. His mother brought him to our church underneath my pastor for watch care while he was going to college. And then it was God revealed me to him. And he began to minister to me when nobody saw me. Nobody knew where I was. Oh there I was directing choirs. God. I was singing. I was ministering to other people then. But still, I was broken. God's mm -hmm. amazing. And I couldn't tell anyone. Yeah. And so I thank God. You know, as 17, wow. he was an awesome man of so God. So you guys knew each other for a long time. Very long. You're married long. four years, but you know each other for all these years. Tell me yeah. that. Yes, very wow. long. And I thought that they, you know, even though they've only been wow. married for four years, they've known each other since, since you were 17. 17. Yeah. Well, when did that gift come upon you, Dr. Jeff? Uh, well, my the, mother the was gift a, of hearing the Lord and knowing how to minister to people and pa pastors. Mm -hmm. My mother yeah. was a, a, a woman of God that really sought the face of God. And one of the things that she implemented into me, which I was so grateful for, was relationship with God, intimacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what I had learned from her was that hearing the voice of the Lord wasn't like a gift from God as in like prophecy mm -hmm. or something of this nature, mm -hmm. but really was the children's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's your right to hear the voice of your father. And it's the heart right. of God, isn't it's it? It's his he heart. He does it. My sheep, hear yeah, my that's voice. Right. That's right. He wants us to know him. He wants us to hear him. He actually died for it. That's right. why yeah. we're here. Right. He wanted the right. fellowship so right. much. Yes, he did. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yes, and, and see, I had a, a fight in the sense that what happened to me is growing up, I didn't know the voice of the Lord. Mm. I felt like I was I was very insecure. I felt like I was stupid, ignorant. Oh. I'd never become anything. Oh my and God! See, all, that's what happens. The devil <laughs> fights you in the <laughs> area <laughs> that you belong in. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And right. so I didn't want to preach. Mm -hmm. I thought, mm -hmm. oh my God, the only way God would ever want me to preach is every king needs a court jester. And God would say, <laughs> God would say, I want to laugh. You preach. And it took wow. God, of course, to break all of that off yes. of me yes. and to make me realize this is where you belong all along right. that's why the devil fought you so yeah. you didn't go there yeah. mm -hmm. wow. yeah. well, I'm sure so many people could relate to what yes. you just said mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh yes I mean because God doesn't make junk no, no he doesn't. You know, and no, as soon as we start yeah, thinking doesn't. we're junk right. we know it's the devil attacking it's a lie of the enemy right. we know just Absolutely. what path to take for the Lord and, yeah. well, and he comes against the call and the Lord had to start training me it was a process over time, mm -hmm. you know, God had to start showing me things. But one of the things the Lord really kind of brought strongly to me, he said, he said, I just have to tell you in truth, it's not, the attack you're getting is really not all about you. He said, that's one of the reasons on the list, but he said, if you really want to know the top reason why the devil attacks you, mm -hmm. is because I kicked him out of heaven. 
Mm -hmm. And he wants revenge against mm -hmm. me. Oh. Mm -hmm. And he says, what he was saying you? is, yeah. he's a coward. He goes <gasps> after my children. Oh. He said, like any parent, any parent would understand. Oh, right. Yes. yes. That's right. The best way to hurt you is hurt your child. Yes, hurt your children. Right. Right. So he said, that's why the devil comes mm -hmm. first and foremost after mm -hmm. you, is to get revenge on me. Yeah. And he said, what you've got to be careful of is don't become a pawn right. in the hand of the devil mm -hmm. to break my heart. Amen. Mm -hmm. That is so deep. Everything that you is so deep. speak is so deep. <laughs> that is oh so funny, God. isn't she? That is so deep. <laughs> she's, she's a, I love it. <laughs> I know, you know, the other night you were ministering at the Heart of Worship Church in Colorado Springs, and the pastor was just crying, crying, crying. <laughs> you just get to, you get to, the Lord gets to people. He, he knows how yeah. yeah. to get to them. He trains yeah. us. He really yeah. helps us. He really yeah. Yeah. Yes, well, too. and you were saying that, um, well, both of you kind of said it in a different way, and you had mentioned it in the uh, last uh, program about some people don't understand that when you say that you have fear, they say, oh, well, we can't have that. If You know, some people think silly. They don't, they don't really know the whole word, right. and they think, oh, no, fear can't reside, and, you know, they can just confess it away. Mm -hmm. But like what you said, and, and, well, I guess I should get to this first. What happens is that they feel like God's left them, but actually what you said, when you have something of the devil that is in you, which is fear, right. then he has that access. And if yes. they would know, yes. God isn't taking his hand off of them, right. but they've allowed access in right. that area. Why don't you go over that for the new viewers for this program okay. again? Um, once again, we talked about it. it, and it's when you deal with hurts and wounds and offenses, and many times, many people have had hurts and wounds and offenses, even back from their childhood. Mm -hmm. So what happens is it opens doors. Right. And as right. it opens doors in them, well, then now you have access. Now you've got this, these hurts, these wounds, the offenses, which also bring in unforgiveness, because mm. many times people can't forgive those who hurt them or offended them. They can't let it go. And then the other thing is that while they're trying to deal with these things, they don't know how to deal with them so they harbor them until they turn into a root of bitterness, bitterness. and even go to hatred yes mm -hmm. and so all these and things murder. right yes. absolutely oh, malice yes. anger yeah. wrath murder mm -hmm. all these That's things right. well these are all spirits yeah. and now they have access to you why they come in through the hurts and the wounds and fear opens that door and there it is there and all these things will be harbored in them and of course they keep pressing it down thinking I'm okay um, they think if I don't deal with it if I don't think about it it's gonna go away it doesn't go away That's yeah right. and even in ministry we're finding many ministers mm -hmm. they haven't dealt with some of these things right. and so what happens is as you get to certain levels well then there are certain things that come that against you and now you don't know how to handle it and so now you start turning to other things mm -hmm. or there be things that come that actually the Lord will uh, end up having it to come to the top, you know, just so that y that true heart, the true content of the heart will be discovered. And then God at that point mm -hmm. gives the opportunity for you to change. Mm -hmm. yeah. He will bring the opportunity the for opportunity you to change. And he wants you. to help us. Right. And because, God wants to help because us. Because it's a spirit, only Christ through Christ can we get rid of that spirit mm -hmm. and have power over it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right, but we have to want to. And yeah. see, that was one reason why the Lord was explaining yeah. to us about this year, uh, you know, about the spirit of insanity when we talked about the last right. service, right. that the spirit of fear is actually a forerunner to the spirit of insanity. Right. And we are watching the spirit of insanity on an increase in the rise. Yes. And it, it, it is the uh, spirit yeah. that we will yeah. have to formally yeah. face yeah. Right. in this last day and yes. age right. yeah. is gonna be the spirit of insanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that God brought out last year when the Supreme Court legalized uh, gay marriages. Mm -hmm. And I went to the Lord and said, why have you allowed this? Because he is sovereign. Mm -hmm. God, Jesus goes sure. as far as to say, I am the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so he has to allow anything to transpire. He said, my church allowed it. He said, homosexuality and lesbianism has been running wild in my church. Oh. And he said, therefore, they are the gateways. Mm -hmm. They allowed the access. Mm -hmm. And therefore, all the world did was acknowledge what's already been going on in the church. Oh, how? And he said, what, what I'm, and he said, I, again, why I've allowed this is because I'm allowing things to push my people. Because if you notice what's happened since that's transpired, there's no lines. Yeah. We now have a case where a man and a woman want to marry, and they are mother and son. 
Oh. They're already living together, <coughs> and, 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 and there's no lines. There's no boundaries. Right. No boundaries. No boundaries. Where do you, who, you no longer can't tell me who I can marry or who I can't marry right. because there's no lines. And so all of this is bringing on a spirit of insanity. And what God is saying, that's why he talked about in Romans 1, uh, as we said last time, uh, chapter 1, verse 26, going down through the chapter, that uh, he talks about that those who do men with men and women with women, it opens up a reprobate mind. Mm. Yes. And it, it's that insanity that's coming so strong now into America to where they are throwing out the things of God. Mm -hmm. America is a unique country yeah. in that is the, it's the only other country outside of Israel that was founded on God. Mm -hmm. yes. There's virtually no other country in the world that mm -hmm. has that reputation. Mm -hmm. And when you push away your foundation, everything starts to Every become shameful. Yeah. Because yeah. the boundaries, we do have them right. for obeying God. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, it even talks about Right. Mm -hmm. uh, all of those things that you mentioned in the Bible. Right. If you're really walking with God mm -hmm. and, and trying to obey Him, That's you wouldn't right. even think of doing those things. Absolutely. And, you, and yeah. Christians need to wake up. I mean, I'm just saying we need to be the body of Christ and we need to wake up to what the Word really says and yes. not water it down. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm just like, it's so yes. watered down. Right. Everything is always perverted, isn't yeah. it? Well, it's because yeah. we're, we're yeah. afraid now. We've got to be right. politically right. correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, we have we're to say afraid. it's, yes. it's, it's, I mean, we have God's grace, but. The grace of God is not a license to do whatever, yeah, whatever want to you do. want. Of course not. No, no. no. And, At the uh, same yeah. token, we're not here to. God does not hate people in right. the sense no. that right. He yeah. wants to go in now. We're supposed no. to kill everybody. Of course not. Yeah. That's not what it is. Mm -hmm. But there are actions that God speaks strongly against. And you got homophobia. No, it's in no. a list of sins. Yes. In, in First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine, it's in a list of sins. Nine and ten. It's listed with adultery. It's listed with with fornication. Yes. It's in a yeah. list of yeah. sins. Yeah, it's not yeah. being homophobic. No. It, it's under Understanding that God has a stance against all of these things because he's the maker right. behind all of these things. And you know, Dr. Jeffers, we know, we can go right to the Word and say perfect love is what casts out all fear. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's a love issue. I believe um, <clears throat> in a lot of these cases in, because I uh, have had even a, a, a pastor's wife one time that was in sin and leaving her husband and doing all these things, mm -hmm. um, said, well, God loves me. And I said, it is not a love issue because he comes to pervert love because perfect right. love is the one that casts out all fear. Right. I said, it's not a love issue. It's a sin and righteousness. Yeah. Nothing will ever separate us from the love of God. Right. God will love you straight to hell. He gave you a choice. Right. Yeah, I will. said, it's about sin and sin separates us from God. He's got to judge it right. or he's not God. Right. He's a God that cannot lie. Yes, yeah. yes. <clears throat> you said something very key though, choice. Choice. Because a lot of this, God, we are the ones that God gave as man. You know, the angels didn't have choice. They don't have a free will. He gave man free will. Why? Yes. Because he wanted us to choose him freely. Choose him. To yes. love him exactly. freely, not being exactly. made to. Because he could have created us to be mindless right. and or just to be like yeah. the angels and just follow. Robots. But he wanted us to seek him, to love him, and to desire to be with him. And therefore, yeah. choice is key in a lot of these things because he's given us the opportunity to have choices. A lot of times it is simple as making the right choice versus the wrong choice. Mm -hmm. And then when we talk even the differences in, in the homosexuality and the lesbianism and et cetera, we're not bashing, we're not coming against it. No. Because oh, in all honesty, and we've ministered yes. to yes. many yes. of them. Oh, yes. And I know I've walked into and ministered to yes. many. Mm -hmm. And I find that actually most things are symptoms to a cause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. When you deal with any kind of, of mental, yes. you know, there, there are people who have uh, yes. schizophrenia and all that. These things are symptoms to the cause right. and I've even dealt with people who walked into lesbianism because they were raped by a man and, mm -hmm. it, and it was so devastating till now they have this phobia this fear of men oh. and now they turn to a woman I mean yeah. there are so many different avenues or yeah. reasons why people turn to that kind of comfort you know however they do it but and we've got to realize that they did it be out of woundedness once again mm -hmm. it goes back to woundedness mm -hmm. and searching trying to self-medicate because mm -hmm. now I want to love and I want to be loved. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, sometimes it, it falls into mm -hmm. that fact of unnatural affection. It's not, that's not what God created. Right. But we've got to understand the root of it. And sometimes mm -hmm. in the churches, the problem is because we don't understand how to deal with it, we dealt with them wrong. And we've treated them yeah. wrongly because we didn't know how to deal with them. Yes. In all honesty, it's they true. come in looking for help. True. It's not a bad pro thing for them to come to the church. Come. Yeah. Come, yes. because God wants you to come. This is where you get yeah, your help. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But we just yeah, have to be hospital. prepared yeah. right. 
to know how to deal with it and how to help them. Yes. Amen. To know how to minister to them. And many times that takes the mind of God because there's mm -hmm. so many different circumstances right. that have walked people into these places. Yes. And when you understand it, you can hear from God. Mm -hmm. God can walk you into helping them where they are and break mm -hmm. the, the bondages off of them yes. and help them to walk into the newness and the freedom of life. Well, I know mm -hmm. so many Christian psychologists, Christian psychologists, who before they minister to a person, they will just wait to get the mind of Christ and hear Him gotcha. and ask Him, gotcha. what does this person need? Absolutely. How can I yes. target in? Right. And they're the ones that, you know, they'll target in on those people. I mean, God will. Mm -hmm. And right. He can do in, in less than five minutes Thank you. what they, they go to a psychiatrist yeah, six for months, for 17 years. years. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. right. And you know, the other aspect of this is sometimes we're dealing with a generational curse. Right. You know, right. just like they talk about naturally, uh, they talk about DNA. There, mm -hmm. if some some people pick up a drink, they instantly be able to become an alcoholic because it's in it's in their DNA it's virtually. DNA, yeah, well, yeah. so it is here. Some of these things are also generational curses, yeah. and that's why God has to train us and show us and teach us how to deal with these things. And that's why we're fighting so much. But it is to develop us into greater intimate relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Boy, because it has been a mess. I don't care anybody can say that it's been okay, but it's yes. been a mess. Yeah. Yes. And we have to be re taught. We have to shift this thing and help right. people. And there many people have left. I broken. think there's two, two, two shifts or two sides to that too. Because, like mm -hmm. I said, there's there's people that accept everything in a sense of we. There's no change needed. Mm -hmm. God doesn't. You know, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Or there's the. You know what you said. People that don't know how to deal with it, and they mm -hmm. and they're condemning, and they're you know. So there's two different, two di whole different sides to how things are being treated in the body of Christ a lot right. of times. Mm -hmm. That's right. Absolutely. And, and I think, you know, what you're saying is really important. We have to learn how mm -hmm. to love people Absolutely. into God's presence, Absolutely. into God's, you know, yeah. heal them through That's the, his love. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That is right. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a part of the fight of the day and age because especially within this year, and we're watching this increase, in, and if you just look around, right. the acts of terrorism that are yeah. increasing, oh. all right. these things that are just going on, there's an increase, yes. and terror, of course, is terrorism is meant to bring terror. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. meant to increase right. fear. fear. Yeah. And yes. with the increase of fear, Absolutely. there comes an increase of insanity. Mm -hmm. Because now people are getting to the point where they're almost afraid to get afraid to come out their own house, right. yes. afraid, right. to afraid to go to a mall right. now, afraid to go to a movie. Right. Because you know someone might be there with a bomb or mm -hmm. afraid to fly play right. terrorize. Oh, I've had people moves. tell me friends that are godly, born again, say they're not flying. And I'm yeah. like, you gotta fly. God tells you to go to, you yeah, know, that's right. Japan, you that's gotta right. go and yeah, go right. minister. So right. you can't be in fear and hey, and if it goes, I'm there, you know. Right. <laughs> if it blows, I, know where you're if going, it blows, right? I go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, you know, you know, angels on my left, angels on my right. Yeah. Father, I trust yeah. you yeah. Well, to bring right. me through. I trust you whatever you do. That's, that's right. right. And that's yeah. where the fear goes. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And that's trust people being God. driven mm -hmm. by fear, and that's what we're running to with leadership. Driven by by fear mm -hmm. and then and then they take on this I'm so afraid I'm gonna fail God and it sounds so godly oh right but the yeah. key word is you're afraid so it's fear God mm -hmm. said he have not given you the spirit of fear right. and so. all this what if that's fear all you might it. as well just say what if what if my church fails They're right always saying what if they all go over there that's what if right. they, I've heard this out of you know many ministers um, you know mouths that mm -hmm. but and if you say a what if then to me that's a faith and it's not you know, it's a fear. I mean, it's a fear, not that's a faith. Right. That's yeah. right. So opening the door, walking. Right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and, and that's yeah. why God's also giving us knowledge. You know, Hosea, right. Hosea 4 and 6. My people destroy for the lack of knowledge. Right. Mm -hmm. Because for such a long time, we thought fear was the opposite of faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you see, if you notice, it doesn't say faith cast right. out fear. No. It says love does. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. just say love. Yeah. It says perfect, perfect love. love. Yeah. So yeah. fear yeah. is yeah. actually the opposite of love. Mm -hmm. What's the opposite yes. of faith is doubt. Right. Yep. Right. And so that's why God's educating us, and that's also why we've had such trouble getting rid of fear, that's because right. we're just simply trying to turn to faith. Right. But mm -hmm. the Bible says in Galatians 5 and 6, faith worketh by love. Mm -hmm. It's actually infused and empowered by love. Mm -hmm. And that's why God's trying to get us to increase a love relationship. Yes, and that's where I've been going. When yes. I go to preach, God has just kept having me come against doubt and unbelief that has come to settle on the promises oh, yes. of God yes. that yes. He has predestined over their lives. That's yes. right. And then I cancel that, and, and then Amen. I just lay hands on them and release a fresh fire of faith. He has been happy to do that for right. a long time because it really is about doubt. Right. You know, it really is. I mean, we oh. 
Shit just gets deep. Yeah. Fear, right. trust. Right. You yes. know, we just right. gotta trust him. That's right. Trust, yeah. trust, but trust. But you said we have to know who we are in Christ. Yes. Absolutely. It's key. Yeah. And, and the Father's key. love has to come and through us to right. be able to minister. Right. That, right. right? I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. That who love. are we mm -hmm. in Christ? Mm -hmm. But that mm -hmm. takes that getting yeah. close to him, spending time with yeah. him. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just getting in the closet and just talking to the Lord, praying for everybody, and then mm -hmm. after you finish, saying, okay, Lord, that's enough. Talk to you tomorrow. See you later. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, what do you think? You're going to get close to him that way? No. Mm -hmm. You've got to get in there. Yes, you exactly. open out. You lay out. And we've got to be able to learn how to load, unload these things in God's presence. Mm -hmm. So that foreign that people yeah. do that, though, to me. Yeah. But some people do. They don't think about God till Sunday. But that's so foreign right. to me because, yeah. I mean, right. I'm getting in the car, like I said earlier, yeah. go to the post office. I'll be weeping. I can't. Because I'm praising God. <laughs> yeah. You right. know, I mean, it's right. foreign to me that they, they yeah. just don't think of him, but it's truth. Yeah. Right. It is true. They yes. go, oh, you know, I'm asking if they go, oh, I just, oh, really? I haven't thought of God all But you know, like, when you stop to think of joint heirs with Jesus Christ, yes. Yes. that means that everything in heaven belongs to us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and when we get that realization that that God conquers all fear, mm -hmm. then we conquer fear. Why right. should we? wear that exactly. right and we gotta we gotta close with that that's a good thing to close with. yes hey listen perfect love cast out fear we are not here to uh look pretty get dressed up and be on mm -hmm. tv we're here for one reason so that you know him our savior yes. a right. savior that died for us that gave yes. us life that we yes. get to go somewhere eternally and that's heaven mm -hmm. there's two places hell and heaven and we want to see you in heaven please all you got to do and don't wait to clean up i mean We've had prostitutes and prisoners say, oh, I, I just can't do this. I just got to wait till I do this or clean up. No, he died while we were yet sinners. He yes, wants he you just the way it. you are. Yes, he does. Please, if you're hearing my yes. voice, just receive him. It's so simple. He wants to pick up all the broken pieces. Some of you are just sitting there just weeping because you're just so broken. Yes. He wants to pick it up and put it it's back probably, together. Yeah. And the only way he can is if you receive him Thank and you, say, Jesus, Jesus, forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart. You, Be the Lord of my life. You, I want what these people have up yes. here. Oh, well, we yes. have nothing but Jesus to give you, and that's yes. a whole lot. Amen. Oh, Amen. and he loves yes. you. Yes. And you just confess yes. with your mouth and you believe in your heart and you say, yes. I believe you're the Son of God. That's I right. believe you died on that cross. I believe yes. you rose again and that you're coming back and I want to be one of those that go yes. with you. Amen. And oh, he says, all heaven's rejoicing. All heaven That's rejoices right. for one person that yes. turns away from their sin and comes to him. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember, you know, people calling me just different prostitutes and stuff and, and just, they, oh, you all think the same thing that I just, if I, if I came, I mean, the whole earth would fall in because I've done all these horrible things. Oh my God. I talked to a man that was 80 some years old, went up to his car and just said, you know, talking to him about the Lord. He started crying. He said, oh, God would never want me. You don't know the things I've done. Oh my God. Ended up leading him to the Lord downtown mm -hmm. and just, I got out and, and I mean, he came to Jesus. People are waiting. You're broken. I mean, yes. he's waiting for you. It's There's nothing too bad that you've done. Thank he God wants you. Trust yeah, me. Right. He right. wants you. Yes, he does. Right. Boy, we could all tell you some stories out here. Please go to our <laughs> website. Order this uh, anointing oil today. God's view yes. helps us keep coming in your home and around the gospel for the Amen. Jesus. I'm around the world for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We got to go. God bless. Love you. God See you next time. Dot GodsViewTVShows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs. Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs. Marianne Peluso's music CDs. Lana Gardner books and Charlene Back to Marianne's books. Visit. Go to www.GodsViewTVShows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs. Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs, Marianne Peluso's music CDs, Lana Gardner books, and Charlene Back to Marianne's books. Visit.